What is going on everybody? Welcome to your very first Ionic Framework tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be just rushing over through what Ionic is and we'll be learning a bit about this framework's history and why do we actually need to learn this. Well, first things first. Well, this Ionic Framework would make your life a hell lot easier if you want to code a simple web application like um, a simple web application for your website like your mobile web application which just allows your users to make use of your website even if they are on the mobile. So Ionic kind of is a SDK a framework which would help you to make super cool applications for your mobile for uh, with the help of the angular js framework we have and the simple html we already have so ionic is the super cool framework and it would be super easy to make some cool applications with ionic because it works kind of with angular and we already have learned angular a lot so if you haven't then i would highly recommend you to learn things in this order so starting off with html first of all learn some html then with the css well you will learn html and css in a mixed way only if you check my playlist i have just taught them simultaneously so that you can just see the dots connecting then we have uh, then you have to learn javascript after that and once you're done with javascript then go to my angular.js tutorials and once you have done with that that you will you can come back to this video tutorial and you can continue pretty much so hybrid applications with angular and ionic is the future for the applications if you want to just build a simple application not so technical and but it should be kind of just cool and simple so we have got this presentation kind of from angular itself so this is the links for the twitter account for and the github one for the ionic project then we have the overview and a native app is a simple app which just works on the native apis provided by the operating system of a particular device like for windows it would be i guess kind of win32 api which would be the native um, api provided by microsoft for development purposes well the downside of native apps as it shows is proficiency in each platform required entirely separate code bases like for example if you are kind of building a native application for windows then you have to make use of win32 api and if you are making a native application for let's just say mac then you have to make use of completely different apis so that's kind of entirely separate code bases so ionic solves this problem for mobile applications with more platforms more problems come in but ionic just take care of them so is there sort of alternative yes it is then we have hybrid apps are slow then there are some statistics right there native sdks are great so common ui views all that stuff then we have the hello to ionic now it says that it would you make use of the web technologies you already know so i am assuming that you no html css javascript and plus angular as well so if you don't know any one of these then i would highly recommend you to learn html css javascript or angular any one or more if you don't know so that it would be easy for you to keep it up with the tutorials then again there are some sort of stats right there standing on the shoulders of angular js then we have native focus performance obsessed plain old css and sas is a preprocessor for css and i might just um, push a tutorial series for sas as well but for now let's just leave it then we have ionicons well that's a nice name for some cool icons then we have um, pretty much the ui you can create a list the complex list types then we have 
can see that we got some sort of HTML only here so you might feel comfortable while coding Ionic applications navigation tabs side menus and all that stuff you can you know you can just implement that on your website or uh, sorry your web application then these are all sort of things you can do we'll be taking a look at them um, later on when we are just coding some applications we have some command line interface for here all right so that ends the presentation pretty much and uh, we'll be starting off with ionic programming and basically the next one would be i guess the setting up of ionic framework from the next tutorial and in this tutorial pretty much i'm gonna just end it right here so yeah so once you are done with those html css javascript and angular then you are free to continue to tutorial number two and build some most awesome web applications for various devices the handheld devices mobile phones tablets with ionic so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching